What's poppin', baby? Welcome to Bone Curio Reading Friday. I have already said with the ancestors. Talk to me, spirit. I am the voice of the voices. Let's see what messages are going to come out for y'all today. Let's see. Under health, some of y'all could be having some females, this is talking to the females, y'all could have some female problems, some polycystic ovaries, PCOS, okay, I'm hearing you need some red clover leaf, okay, red clover leaf, also you need to do a detox, seven days before your menaces, or seven days after your menaces, please do not do a yoni steam, doing your menaces all right also some body has diverticulitis which means you have pain when you eat peanuts popcorns any spicy food spirit is saying you need to go see a gastrologist all right also someone is having every time you eat greasy foods you have um bowel problems or severe abdominal cramping spirit is saying you can have ibs and for some, I'm picking up gout. Please consult with your physician. I am not a doctor. I never played one on TV. All right. Also, Spirit has said some of y'all are changing your health. Y'all getting stronger. Y'all taking life more serious because you understand health is wealth. All right. For some of y'all, y'all starting to do chi, C-H-I, chi or chai, however you pronounce it. You need to get out there and do tai chi, feng shui, all that. Listen to the chi meditation on YouTube. Some of y'all are studying acupuncture. Y'all studying ancient Chinese medicine. Y'all are getting into holistic healing. Spirit is saying a lot of y'all being called to your shamanism. The letter M can be significant. The letter W can be significant. Also, Spirit is saying for the men, some of y'all are on high blood pressure medicine and it's causing y'all to have erectile dysfunction. There's an alternative way that um, you can lower your blood pressure. Garlic, beets, beetroot juice, things like that will help you lower your um, cholesterol, I mean, blood pressure. The path is opening for y'all and y'all health. So good health is coming in this year. Y'all need to eat more high vibrational foods instead of low vibrational foods. I could be speaking to a Sagittarius. I could be speaking to a Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, spirits is coming to y'all in y'all dreams. Warning you about something going on that you need a, uh, a doctor. Sometimes your the spirits, the ancestors, your ascended ancestors can come to you and ask you about a family member. It's because that family member is sick and needs medical attention. And some of y'all, not all of y'all, y'all have like an adversary, an enemy, someone that does not like you. The wants to see you fail is messing with your health. It's really messing with your health at this time. They send in, um, they doing magic. They got you in a jar to target your health. Causing headaches, stomach pains, back ache, um, things like that. You're being attacked, spiritually attacked. Under-organized. 
Spirit is saying someone's altar, ancestor altar, need to be organized. There's something on there that the ancestors don't want on there, or they want you to add something. Also, your ancestor altar should be out of a way where people cannot touch it, can't see it, out of the way of traffic, so it won't get knocked down, people touching it, um, things like that, things falling off, breaking, and the ancestors is not doing it. Also, they want you to place your ancestor towards the east. East means communication. East is air. The sun rises at the east. <sighs> Let's see. Intuition. Some of y'all feel like y'all intuition is clouded. It's like you're feeling off. It's because you need to take a spiritual cleansing. You need to cleanse your house. Also, there's blockages. You're holding on to something and you're suffering from inner child issues and it's causing a lot of blockages. It's like you're stuck in a different timeline, a different year. You need to heal that. And for some, someone is attacking, doing a, 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 a confusion spell on you and it's messing up your intuition. For a lot of y'all, y'all need to meditate. You have spiritual animals waiting to work with you. You have your shamans. So some of y'all, y'all shaman, um, is, shamanism is calling you. Some of y'all are connected to the Tibetan Buddha. So if you've been thinking about the Tibetan Buddha, there's different types of Buddha. Her Buddha is Tara. This is the name of that Buddha. I'm talking to Michael. Michelle, Marvin, Melvin, Melissa, Mir Miraculous, Meredith, Mary, Margaret, Milton. Also, between intuition and organize, you need to... Um, you need to change your room around. You need to declutter your room, I'm hearing. Under organize. On your ancestor altar, you should only have white candle that I'm picking up. Not a blue, not a green, not a pink, or not whatever color you think is on there because you can't find a white one. They want a white one. Under intuition, also, Spirit is saying some of y'all need to call y'all energy back, y'all power back. Also, at, in the beginning of the morning and at night, you need to call yourself back. So you're going to call your government name and say, I'll call you back to me. You're going to say your full name. You say, return back to me. You need to do that first thing in the morning and first thing in the night. Because someone could be trying to trap your soul. And also, sometimes your soul is wandering around. That's why you wake up tired. Because you're doing too much in your dreams. The letter T can be significant. Tommy, Tiffany, Terrence, Tyrone, Tony, Terry, Therson, Teresa, Taylor, On the opportunity, spirit that saying victory is yours. You're moving forward. Your luck is changing. The letter M could be significant. Also, under uh, opportunity, they want you to stop overlooking things. Stop sweeping things under the broom. Stop avoiding situations. Start handling it. Stay in your ground. Speak your truth. You have seen the signs. You're not a doormat. They have showed you plenty of signs. You don't have to stay in this situation. You don't have to stay at this job. They have been showing you the signs. You don't have to stay friends with this person. They want you to cut it off and call your power back. Also under intuition, a lot of y'all are getting called to the water. Water holds memory. Water talks to you. You need to connect to the water, whether it's river, lakes, ocean. In a bathtub, in the shower, you need to talk. 
you have a you are very connected to water and it's going to help you with your intuition also you need to connect to the moon also a lot of y'all spiritual animal is a dolphin you need to call forth your dolphin dolphins are very intelligent species they also have the gift of telepathy you have the gift of telepathy also a lot of y'all have the spiritual animal of a shark a shark is a predator a hunter a lot of y'all are a hunter y'all are a wounded warrior y'all need to stay in your ground the letter c can be significant the letter uh, w also uh, people not people spirits is also said a lot of y'all need to connect to your feminine feminine energy that's your intuition that's your mother wit that's your discernment stop doubting yourself okay a lot of y'all get ready to meet y'all spiritual tribe a lot of y'all gonna meet y'all spiritual brother sister spiritual mother spiritual father your spiritual uh, journey is about to get real it's about to get real yes i put an s on it because it's about to get real under romance a lot of y'all have met y'all soulmate it could be from a different state your soulmate is not always in your state your soulmate is not always in your country you are you starting to bring it in this is going to be a romance this soulmate is going to help your kundalini reach its potential y'all going to have a very strong sexual energy this is faith y'all was y'all got married in the spiritual realm so this is destined this is part of y'all family tree this is y'all both are psychic y'all both are very spiritual y'all both are very gifted this is really going to rise your in uh your kudalini for some of y'all y'all still could be married and still meet your soulmate for some this soulmate is not sexual and for some this soulmate is sexual all right this was prepared for you it's in divine timing a lot of y'all you have the cross under intuitions a lot of y'all are suffering because y'all have voices in your head and you don't know how to control them. This is what I'm saying. Meditation is very important at this time. You're feeling blocked. Someone's doing a confusion spell and they're sending things to you. Some of y'all are getting downloads too quickly and y'all don't know how to handle y'all power. Y'all have to mature in your power. Once again, connecting to Mother Nature grounding meditating is going to help you control those voices in your head it's going to help you control your powers also you need a guidance you need to ask them to send you um, a real not real but um, a a guy a spiritual mentor that's not going to take advantage of you there's a lot of spiritual mentors out there that will take advantage of you because they see your power, they see your potential, and they want to keep you underneath and take from you. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of y'all uh, come from a real long line of very powerful spiritualist people in your family on your mother and father's side. On the idea... Spirit is saying move in silence. Sometimes you're sharing your ideas to the wrong people. All right. You need to cut cords because they're trying to copy and paste you. Okay. You want to die an original, not a copy. So be careful who you talk to. A lot of y'all need to study up, get some books and study up about the uh, Kabbalion, how to work with angels about shamanism spirit is saying y'all need to incorporate how to uh, about the chakras you need to read upon that get some wisdom and knowledge under finances this is a year your finances is going to be improving all right but also spirit is saying those who have children put up a saving account for your child to go towards their college fund yes everyone's not meant to go to college but they need to uh, get in a trade, a union. 
so they cannot be be a statistic they can grow up and build property make property teach them business things they are our future a lot of y'all um the letter c can be significant the letter g a lot of y'all finances are really stuck it's because you spend it foolishly spirit is saying when you get paid and if you have an extra five dollars ten dollars put it in an envelope keep putting it up putting it up putting it up and then you'll be able to save up for that rainy day. You will always have money. For you to manifest money, you have to have cash money to manifest money. For it to come in, you have to have money to manifest. Money is energy. Not the debit card, not the credit card. That's plastic. Money is energy. So keep like some $5, dollars, $2, whatever, and manifest your money under trouble y'all getting into spiritual warfare because when a person cut ties with you and they call back their power and energy you not no under no longer under that shade you no longer protect it when they call it back you open you expose a lot of y'all are saying all oh, this person is doing something to me this person is doing this to me and y'all retaliating and that person didn't do anything to you but pull their power back. A lot of y'all are getting readings on people that listen to their ego instead of spirit. you getting readings on people that don't know what they're talking about. They are Google tarot. They are Google reader. And they're giving you false information. And it's causing a spiritual warfare, a spiritual fight between a lot of spiritual people. I'm hearing Diana, Denise. David, Donald, Desiree, Daisha, something like that. Also, a lot of y'all females are having problems conceiving. You having miscarriages. The reason why, one of the reason why, spiritual reason why, you're not supposed to be having any babies with that toxic penis, with that toxic person. It's throwing off your pH balance. It's not meant. If you are spiritual, you have a sacred womb. Can't nobody enter into your womb. Okay? There's toxic penises and there's toxic vagina. So a lot of y'all are miscarrying because it's not meant to be. And a lot of y'all got a curse on y'all generation. If you notice that you have a family history of women miscarrying, women cannot have babies. It's because that generational is cursed. And for some, someone cursed your womb in another lifetime and it carried it on to this lifetime. For some of y'all, y'all have a block Philippian tubes. Y'all need to get that unblocked. A lot of y'all are have scar tissues for having too many abortions. Now that you're not sleeping with everybody, you want to have a baby and you can't because you have scar tissue. That can be fixed with fertility spells for some, okay? And for some, it cannot. You just can't have any, all right? A lot of y'all, um, yep, because there's the demon on top of trouble with fertility. Someone is working you. Sometimes they can work you and throw it in the ocean, and that takes a long time. Once, sometimes it can be like in the 1700s, your womb was cursed. You didn't fix it. So when you came back in this lifetime, you can't have any kids. And another reason, like I said, you're not meant to have kids with that certain person. Under friendship. Some of your friendships are loyal. In spirit is saying some of your friends are not. They enemies. They studying you. They trying to use what you got against you. So spirit is saying those that stab you in the back, the same knife that you use, take it out and cut cords with them. See them for who they truly are. They energy vampires. There are six different types of energy vampires. A lot of your friendships are fake. They're very envious and jealous of you. You're also, what you lose, you will gain back. Your path is open for friendships. A lot of your friendships that the path is open is going to be part of your spiritual tribe. And for some of them, they toxic. So use your discernment. Everybody's not a good spiritualist. All right. 
A lot of y'all going to lift each other up. Y'all going to grow spiritually. I'm hearing Pauline, Paul, Pearson again. Phillips is your last name. Philip is your first name. Um, Philman, something like that. A lot of y'all have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Y'all are spiritual brothers and sisters. Also, the, your light is path. Your your pathway is lighted. You're gonna start meeting a lot of people that's in your soul tribe. Under lessons, spirit is giving you a second chance on life. They want you to know there's no perfect person upon this earth. The mistakes you make is for you to learn not to do it again. They want you to become peace with your past. They want you to become peaceful with your demons. Become friends with your demons so see, so people cannot use that towards you. Also, you learning to save up money and stuff like that. The cycle has ended and a new cycle is beginning. This is for my Libras. I could be speaking to a Libra, sun, moon, and rising. The letter G can be significant. Also, money's coming in and you're learning how to budget your money. You're learning to, if you do, if you are a reader out there or do any spiritual work, you're supposed to take some 10% uh, of that money and put it towards your ancestors to buy things for them for they want. Okay, like perfume, food, or whatever. You do not use your spiritual business to pay bills because you're never going to gain money. Okay, so you have to look for it and look at it different. A lot of y'all um, have a spirit baby floating around. And a lot of y'all going to learn a lot of lessons through your kids. Your kids are karmic. So your karmic problem came through your kids. So you're starting to see, why, why is this happening to me? Why is my children doing this and this? A lot of y'all role play. You were your, you was the parent and your parent was the child. So y'all going through lessons that way. Under break, someone needs to take a break from gossiping toxic women. Y'all need to take a break from a toxic woman. This woman is toxic. I could be talking to a woman. I could be talking to a man. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship, but this woman is very toxic. All right. She could be from Ohio. There is a woman that's sending y'all evil eye. There's a woman that is very jealous of you. And it's sending you an evil eye. And for some of y'all, y'all grandmother or great-grandmother is your guardian angel. On the work, you have someone that's trying to get you fired. You have someone that is taking your work and saying that it's theirs. You have someone that's lying on you on your work place. Also, a spirit is saying, some of y'all need to let go of your work husband and your work wife. You don't poop where you eat, okay? And for some of y'all, y'all going to meet y'all spirit, y'all husband or wife through work. Under break and work, spirit is saying, during your vacation or PTO day, you need to find another job, all right? Also, spirit is saying, for some of y'all, y'all spiritual work, y'all need to protect it spiritually y'all need to bless it spiritually the letter d can be significant the letter y can be significant the letter v a lot of y'all on your job are going to be speaking up more y'all going to be uh promoted so a team lead so y'all going to have to step up a lot of y'all going to be a most motivational speaker y'all going to be doing seminars y'all going to be doing fairs pop-ups you're going to be out there. Also, some of y'all work is going to be through social media, a podcast, YouTube. They want you to speak up, and it's going to be spiritual for some. The letter K can be significant. Under home, Spirit is saying you need to change your locks because I guess whoever you was involved with made a copy of your key. They lied and said they lost it. So Spirit is saying they're going to wait till you go and come in and ramsack your home and take stuff. Spirit is saying you need to change your locks. Also, if you're in an apartment, you need to change your lock because you have a maintenance person coming in when you're at work or whatever, going through your stuff, okay? They're fascinated with you. They think you're very pretty, but I don't know. Under home, 
I'm hearing home invasion, so you really need to amp up your alarm system. Also, Spirit is saying I need to cleanse your home, ward your home on the outside and the inside. Also, there's good news. Someone is getting ready to close on a home. And if you practice in real estate, Spirit is saying you get right past the bar for some. And for some, you get ready to move, all right? And for some, you keep seeing the same bird all around. It's one of your past loved ones. They let you know they hear you. They're not far from you, all right? Also, someone needs to feed their ancestors. Under family. Spirit is saying there's chaos in the family. Someone either it could have been a grandmother that kept the family together or it could have been your mom that kept the family together. Well, he or she passed on. And it's like the family's not together anymore. This family needs healing. There's a lot of toxic uh, energy in the family. And for some, you need to speak up about that uncle or that brother or that cousin that molested you. You need to speak up about it because they are looking at your cousin or your niece or whatever, the next victim or your little sister. So you need to speak up and protect that. For some of y'all, y'all need to, um, you and your kids, are, and if you're in marriage or whatever, your family need to go on a vacation. You need to spend more time with your kids, okay? This could be, I could be talking to a Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, okay? Also, there's someone in your family that's an alcoholic. This is a lady. She's an alcoholic and she promiscuous, permission, I can't say that word. She sleeps around. She's extra flirty and stuff like that. You need to watch her and get her help because if not, she could catch AIDS. I'm hearing a powerful STD. So you have to be careful because these men are getting her intoxicated. Someone in your family is an addict on drugs also. You have to start paying attention to this. They're crying out for help. They have a substance abuse. They have an addiction. It could be the letter L. The letter R can be significant. They can be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Someone in your family is incarcerated. They get ready to get out. All right? Or under gift. Spirit is saying some of y'all are sleeping on your gifts. You want to go before the Most High, empty, not full. He gave you these gifts to... Um, to use also spirit is saying some of y'all gifts y'all using it for the wrong reason that's the reason why you are greedy and you power honey hungry that's why you wonder why you don't have gifts like other people it's because you using it for the wrong reason you abusing your power all right you going dark you're not balanced you need to have 50 light and 50 dark for some of y'all gift y'all have the gift of y'all are a gatekeeper I don't know if it's east, west, north, south, but you're a gatekeeper. Lots of spirits come to you. Your path for some, y'all maturing. Y'all getting more responsible. Y'all gifts, you growing into your gifts. You're going to find out you got more gifts. All right? Your birthday, you're going to get a walkthrough. A walkthrough is for one year, you completed a cycle. So your, your soul day, you get that um, soul goes back up. And another soul, soul come down. This is a walkthrough. It's going to mimic the same soul you had. But it's going to have more gifts. You're going to see things different from you. That's why it's called a soul day. Not solar return. Not birthday. It's called soul day. Because each year you get a new soul. You get a walkthrough. Y'all gifts are going to be open. Some of y'all about to get some powerful gifts. Under a void. Some of y'all need to avoid sex. Because that person has a toxic penis. Also, a lot of y'all are sleeping just to be sleeping. You don't understand. You can't sleep with everybody. Men, you're sacred. Women, you're sacred. You need to speak, uh, sleep with people that's on your spiritual level. Also, stop having sex when you're on your period. That's a blood contract. Also, ladies, men can bind you to them when they having sex with you. They can say, mm, this is mine, this is good, I kill for this, this. That's making a bond. That's bonding each other. That's making a contract. I could be talking to a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Especially Scorpio, y'all ruled by the sex area. Y'all really have to be careful who y'all have sex with. The letter P can be significant. 
under a void. Some of y'all get ready to marry the wrong person. Y'all didn't think it through. Y'all saying, well, everybody in my family is getting married. All my friends is getting married. My, my clock is ticking. Okay, there's people that get married at 50, 60, 70 years old. Don't jump into something. Okay, also Spirit is saying, stop giving away the milk for free. Because sometimes they just want to use you. You're doing wifey materials and they never going to wife you. So Spirit says stop. Spirit is also saying avoid dressing with your window blinds open or your windows open or whatever. You have a peeping tom, especially if you live in an apartment. Someone is watching you. Avoid going on the trips unless you get an oil change or tune up. Check your tire pressure because something's going on with your car. All right. Okay. What other messages do you have for your spirit? Please show me clearly. You have the Knight of Or. You have Kabbalah the Oros. You have the um, Knight of Gold. A lot of y'all have messages of money coming in. Um, you're going to have a lot of overwhelming challenges. You're going to have a collaboration of things, all right? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Also, Spirit is saying, don't be maxing out your credit cards because it's starting to put you in debt. Try to pay some before the due date and on the due date, okay? Um, start making progress on your money. Like I said, y'all, money is or it's acting funny. It's because you're maxing out everything. Spirit is saying... Just slow down on there and stop biting off more than you can chew. You have the King of Cups, Rey de Copas. You have love coming in at this time, okay? You're starting to daydream. You're starting to manifest. You're starting to see him or starting to see her, okay? Um, this is coming in. He's a lover. He's not a fighter. He's a lover, all right? He's very psychic. Uh, he could have Pisces in his cup. Or he can have a Scorpio in this cup. But you do have love coming. And this person is going to help you balance your money. Alright. It's going to help you balance your money. Also someone is supposed to be making a prosperity oil. Or prosperity uh, spray. Spirit is saying you need to get on that. You have the Quattro de Bastos. You have Four of Wands. Stability. Moving. You get ready to change your residence, okay? Um, your energy is starting to change physically, emotionally. Um, you the spirits are starting to give you the strength to move forward. All right, you getting everything that you're desiring, and it's going to be secure for you. Okay, this is secure. This is a guarantee. All right, you have the nine of cups, whoever they call us. Okay, you really need to get connected to water. You here to help people. You are a wounded healer. You here to give a service. Um, you help with love. Um, you give without respecting something back. Okay. You do good for the others, and you going to get your reward. You going to get everything that you're asking for. Your wishes are being fulfilled at this time. You are going to get uh, blessed. Okay. In other words. Doors are opening up for you. You're getting everything that you wanted. The paths are opening up for you. All right? You're starting to love you, and you generate out of love. Okay? You're very fiery. Things are coming. You have the nine of swords. Nueve de espadas. You have the nine of swords. All right? Stand up for what you believe in. All right? It's like, don't get in arguments don't get entertained the gossip don't do that third party stuff because they putting you in it um 
a lot of y'all are getting blamed for stuff that other people done. Spirit is saying this is about to stop. Um, a lot of y'all need to stay away from marijuana and drinking when you're talking to spirits because you let trickster spirits in. You don't know what's real and what's reality. All right. That's why liquor is called spirits. Okay. Stay away from the uh, hallucinating drugs. Because, like I said, you don't know what's real and what's reality. You don't know what's a trickster spirit and what's not a trickster spirit. And it's confusing you. That's why you need to get on a spiritual high. I hope y'all enjoyed this Bone Curio Friday reading. Peace, love, and light. I shall.